Hi, this is Cooler One, and today I'll be showing you how to uninstall and reinstall a electric motor on an RC car. Right now, I have a brushed 540 motor, and there it is broken. It doesn't work, and I'll be reinstalling it with a Tacon, same 540 size motor. Um. Uh, 4,420 kV motor. You could pick this up at hobbyparts.com for um, around $25. And it's very good. It's about uh, it's about the exact same has about the same um, output as the Trexas Valenian. And that's $60. So this is a very good choice for brushless motor. <clears throat> okay, let's get to it. Okay, so what you need is a medium sized Phillips head screwdriver and a metric set of Allen wrenches. Um, you, only, in, you don't really need a set, but you need anywhere from a uh, 2.5 to 1.5 so yeah next you will be um this uh particular model has um is exceed rc and it has the newer ones have these this uh cap to prevent to prevent the um dirt and dust from getting in there so you're gonna unscrew if you have the new one, um, then you're gonna unscrew these. But if you don't, you won't have to do this. So you're gonna unscrew these. And you want want to make sure that you put them in a in a special place where you won't lose them. And for this motor mount right here, there's a motor mount right under this. There, are these two screws are them. One of them that I'm unscrewing right now, they are um, machinery screws from metal. So you want to make sure that you use them. And they use these. And they have um, what's it called? Uh, thinner and closer together threads. I don't know if you can see, but. Okay, so now we need to get this antenna mount screw off the, and these three screws off so you can move the radio tray to get to here. Okay, once you have that done, you can just pull this to the side. You don't need it along that much, but just make sure it's not over this gear. And then you can take one of your Allen wrenches. It looks like a two, size two. Sorry. And unscrew this little drive joint thing here. Okay. Sorry, my camera's pretty bad quality. I'm gonna get a new one soon. I don't have the money right now, so put that somewhere safe. And you slide that little part off. And you might have to pull on your car to make it come off. And then you could just slide. Wait a sec, I'm gonna get this off. Then you could just slide the motor mount and the motor off.
okay. So, I got the motor here, but there's one problem. It's stuck to the motor mount. And to get it off, you need a two, a size two uh, Allen wrench. Um, and there are two um, set screws right here. So, I'm gonna unscrew these. They're pretty simple to unscrew, not that hard. I mean, it may. Sorry. Okay. Now get your new motor. You put it on where the indents are. Like this. Screw on the new gear. Oh, wrong way. Nice and secure, and got some good gear mesh. It's actually not that loud. And I mean, this isn't tracks. This this isn't dirt tracks or Team Associated or HPI. This is Exceed RC. It is a good brand for the cost, and it very cheap uh so yeah that's how you put on or that's how you take a brushless that's how you take a brush motor out and a brushless motor in thanks for watching bye